Hello and welcome to Thought for June the 27th. Our readings are 1 Samuel 7 and 8, Isaiah 52 and Revelation chapter 14. And our thought is, how beautiful. Our readings today are full of contrast, but that is the nature of God's word. On the one hand, expressing his dismay and resultant anger at the godless behaviour of human beings, but on the other hand, giving pictures of coming glory for those whose convictions and resultant behaviour are righteous. Our chapter 14 in Revelation ends with a vision of the wrath of God when the angel swung his sickle across the earth and gathered the grape harvest of the earth and threw it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. Verse 19. The symbology is clear. Today so few know and show by the way they live that there is a God, a Creator. Isaiah is caused by the Creator, chapter 15, to first write that continually all the day my name is despised, verse 5. And then in contrast, my people shall know my name. Therefore in that day they shall know that it is I who speak. Here I am, verse 6. Are we making God aware of our by our earnest prayers that we know his name, that we have heartfelt confidence that is so evident to others that they know something of the good news that is in our hearts? The next verse, verse 7, has a wonderful poetic picture. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that brings good news, who establishes peace, who brings good news of happiness, who publishes salvation. The outcome is verse 8. They see the return of the Lord to Zion. At this time, the Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Verse 10. As he brings to an end, or the terrible time when he executes the wrath of God. The contrast of these events will add to the perception of how beautiful is the publishing of salvation and the total awareness it brings to the earth, that there is a creator and the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of God. How beautiful indeed, utterly wonderful will it be to experience that time? We make the answer now as to whether it will be our experience. Well, thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that the Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you.